Hi friends please subscribe my channel for technical training and placement related videos and if you want more updates on my videos please click on bell icon thank you for subscribing thank you for attending the session ma so today we are going to concentrate on uh, the how we need to face the interview uh, if you observe that interview so mainly we have to keep in mind the three things ma first one is the is a good resume and the technical round and the hr round these are the three important things is are involved in the interview process right the first one is the resume so the simply the resume is the resume is the the agreement between the you and the interviewer whatever you wrote or whatever you put into your resume that is the final that is why each and every letter on your resume should be uh, very careful and you are the authorized person you are the responsible person for the each and every letter in your resume right that is why whatever you wrote in the resume you should prepare and you should very clear with the resume right so that is why my advice is before going to the interview after preparation of your uh, resume please show to your uh, verbal i mean the english faculty is there any mistakes are there or anything and after that next thing is the technical you people are only concentrated on the technical most of the uh, persons if you are interview you people are morely concentrated on the technical part so what about the hr part even if you clear the technical part if you fail in the hr then you didn't get the job right so the three things are very very important please keep it mind resume is the first one is the first step and next one is the uh, technical as well as behavior that is the hr round so these are the three important part, parts today i'm going to concentrate on these three parts ma right how and what we are going to you uh, concentrate on the resume and how, what are the various types of behavioral questions are there and how to prepare the technical part these things are i'm going to concentrate okay let us start our session with the first resume preparation so what are the things we need to concentrate on the resume right see if you observe the resume so most of the people if you write the resume uh, there will be the habits and the various points they mention ma so keep it mind the people the interviewer are only 20 minute 20 seconds ma they have only 20 seconds time is there to observe your resume only 20 seconds in the 20 seconds you need to you need to show your all your data i mean our your achievements the only thing is the resume is your pamphlet ma like some advertisement is there right the advertisement posters are there the posters what they are going to show you so which is the more important like discounts or otherwise these are products which are a more valuable in this particular company those kind of things are showcased on that posters right same like that the resume is like a poster of your uh, bio data means we have to showcase you have to elevate all the things all the things whatever whatever achievements and whatever useful to that particular job those things you need to concentrate right so the end of the video you may understood how to write the resume and how to part how to prepare the behavioral questions and how to prepare the interview these three points definitely you people can uh, you'll get an idea and i'll get in some suggestions on these three points right so you just watch until end of the video definitely it will helpful right the first thing is what i'm going to say here please remember before going to before going to start your resume first identify what are the achievements you have and what are the advantages you have comparing with the others don't write the things playing cricket watching movies listening music this is the all the nothing is the meritorious right those are not useful to them so only you have to mention which are useful to the the particular uh, company so that may be a tca that may be a cap gemini that may be wipro whatever it may be right first only the one question you have to ask yourself 
why the company is going to give job to me if you are if you clear with that question definitely you can prepare yourself according to the company needs right so first you need to consider the two points in a resume first are you smart are you smart means where you are unique from the others that is the only point is perfectly work in the interview point if you are if you are answer this question then is that 90% job is in your hands 90% of the job is in your hand right the next thing is most of the companies are going to concentrate on the coding part developer point right so in the developer point of view the developer point of view you need to learn coding parts coding part means hacker rank code chef hacker it and the acm icpc competitions so you have to concentrate all the things to concentrate on all the things and if you have any achievements and suppose you have a code chef four four star rating is there just highlight that one and if you have any certifications like nptel or coursera or some any other you just concentrate on all the that kind of achievements please collect and you have any uh, class toppers or any uh, symposium presentations okay so these things plays a vital role in the resume preparation only the thing is you just remember if your resume is the like others resume there is no weightage on that whatever i said just they have it 20 seconds time to check your uh, they have a 20 seconds time to check your resume the 20 seconds that is your task to elevate the the important points don't bring the resume for five pages six pages if even it is a two pages you have to incorporate the points which are very useful to the company that is very very important right so you have to consider these two points of the preparation of the resume are you smarter and what way and what are the achievements you have done okay and coding and the coding point of view and do you have any certifications or um, so anything how to incorporate you just spend one hour time to just check your uh, the past studies do you have any such kind of achievements or there and keep it mind don't blame them be honest be honest if you have any good things definitely just show to them and even if you try to blame them if they are certification certificates then you may uh, face the problem if they have a get doubt if you are not honest you may lose the job at the same point right always try to prove yourself on each and every second the interview you are the very honest person you are speaking honest words but not lying anything that is your task to prove yourself only the thing is the interview is like promotion yourself you have to promote i am a very good person i am very fit to your company i am a hard worker so like that you have to means don't say like that that should be show on your uh, face expressions or uh, the, the things what you have done in the past 4 years or uh, from end onwards you have any uh, accomplishments regarding the the education all each and every point is very useful only the thing is when you are going to incorporate one point in your resume first check that is that unique to others or not if it is a unique definitely the 10% weightage is comes to your side because the interviewer is going to a very boring with the same kind of resumes and try to make that resume is very attractive manner but don't use that uh, uh, irritated uh, colors and images that should be the very professional and that should be the very attractive then only it will give the more weightage more weightage to your uh, uh, job profile right the next thing is after these two points the how to consider the project every company needs to at least 5 minutes allocate the 5 minutes time to 
known about your project because after after joining your company you need to perform you need to work on the projects right so what project you have done or what project you are going to do or what part project you are going uh, you are doing and what is your role what are the modules involved in your project what is the back end what is the front end all the things are very very important and what are the technologies are you are going to using so if you are using some iot or big data analytics but you should very clear with that what are the tools you are going to use in that particular project if not much on that project i mean tools then definitely you are you, you people are going to buy the project from somewhere else they treat like that that is why so be clear with the project what is the abstract and sorry what is the problem a problem means that is abstract as abstract in what is the introduction uh, problem and the procedure and approach if you have any doubts regarding this uh, slide you just put it in the comment definitely i'll help you the regarding this right but the one thing is most of the uh, persons are asking sir oh, we don't have a project sir can you please help me in the regarding this so for that reason i'm going to give you one website thousandprojects.com is there in that so many projects are there you just take that one project you spend one day time definitely you people can uh, learn all the things regarding the project so my suggestion is try to prepare a project at least at least half an hour then the interview you can speak at least 5 minutes at least 5 minutes this is my advice at least you can prepare your project half an hour to speak the project about half an hour then definitely you can manage the project with the 5 minutes in the interview right all the modules what is the back end what is the front end what are the softwares you are going to use and what is the purpose of the project and is there any competitor on your project suppose i am going to show you one one product so this is the this is the pen the pen is very very useful to you uh, this is the pen is uh, uh, when you comparing the other pens this is the very useful pen so you may say like that but how it is useful and what are the drawbacks in the other product and what is the advantage of this product that should be very clear only the thing is everything everything you need to justify two two things what is the input what is the output means suppose this is the buying if you if you buy this product so what is the useful of this one that should be very clear with that project execution right this is my solution ma so project is very very important and next ma programming languages and softwares that is the just now i said right so what are the certifications you have what are the various certifications like java certifications or oracle certifications or iot you have done some npl courses okay na coursera everything you should incorporate which is unique from others okay na so all the things are very very useful even if you don't have anything you just go to course coursera you can complete the course within 2 or 3 days a python course or iot courses maybe within even first one week they are going to give the free right so in a within one week you have to complete two or three courses just keep it ready all these courses because every point is very useful and if you have any internships so internship skills are at the 50% weightage to the jobs because the internship is like you are already a part of the industry you are already part of the industry that is the reason right and spellings and gram grammatical mistakes this is the very very important if your resume is the very two pages you are not uh, much concentrate on the two pages definitely the people will get on the resume based on the resume uh, the carelessness means you are not much uh, interested on the job or much not much uh, importance is going to give that particular job like that they'll treat that is why my suggestion is you just check your resume with your uh, english faculty or uh, some the faculty or english teachers or anyone right this is the about the resume right if you have any doubts here please comment on the video definitely i will help you help you right thank you come into the behavioral questions come into the behavioral questions so behavioral questions are based on the situations you have to act 
you i mean if you are not prepared well and if you are not think in the behavioral point of view he may fail in the hr round that is why the you should react you should respond based on the situation the presence of mind is very very important in the hr round they are going to test your knowledge so as my experience as per the expert suggestions the iq level suppose you have a 100% iq level in 100% iq level in normal outside of the interview in the interview the iq level is goes to down 40% right if you practice more if you practice more you have you have more uh, presence of mind a two particular situation because we don't know we don't know what type of questions they are going to ask in the interview for that reason you have to experience you have to experience what they are going to ask in the interviews if you are if you if you comfortable the situation definitely you can answer but if it is a new situation so just i am going to ask you one question see are uh, the teamwork the teamwork related behavioral question see a different from yours so the interviewer may ask suppose in your team you are going to work with the people who are different to you are different behavior with, comparing with you means if you if you observe the persons you are going to get hate then how how you are going to work with them just answer that question so you people are there you got a job in the my company and i have allocated one team but the team members are very different to uh, your, your your body language and your your, your characters your characteristic how to handle the situation then you have to manage that such kind of answers right so what is the answer you they expect so before going to answer you should prepare with real time example for example sir in the, in the same situation in my project also in my project my team members one of the my team member is not good with me so always we are uh, he is try to fight with me but still i i am going to manage with him and i am going to convince him in 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 polite manner and i never get irritate based on the his uh, what his uh, based on the hands or his words i am always try to convince him and and try to work with my project and i am try to complete my project within the time so like that you have to prepare yourself the same question if you ask in the interview because you didn't experience the such kind of question that is why you may get you may get some issue in the in, i mean you are unable to answer the question right and next question conflict while working so one person is there always always is creating the some nonsense he is not he is not giving the time uh, he is not trying to complete the project he is trying to uh, creating the obstacles on your project how how you are going to handle the situation right the next question uh, struggle building a relationship one person is there so and that person see this is the person is not the person he is not going to uh, is talking about you and he is not speaking uh, speaking with you and he is always trying to uh, break the relation and on the same just a kind of situations how we are going to handle it right and also mistakes suppose we are the humans right we may made mistakes but how you are going to take that mistakes how you are going to handle a mistake if you have, if you if you have done a mistake and how and how to react on the mistake right the team members if you did a mistake so someone pointing point out your mistake how you react is you how to accept the uh, mistake or how to uh, oppose the mistake or if you have to convince them so how we are going to handle a situation and the next thing is suppose you need to collect the information from the irresponsible i mean irresponsible person means that person is not good for in the uh, giving the i mean supporting you is very irresponsible but the data is very urgent from the particular person how you are going to handle the such kind of situation I means these are teamwork behavioral questions
right and next client facing skills if you observe the client facing skills see we are finally we will get the bread and butter from the clients right clients are the uh, the primary and the stakeholders for the company right so whatever you are doing for the the job for the purpose of the clients only right the client per perspective you should be very clear right these are the very very various situations in the client point of view they may ask the questions the first one is suppose you want to get a good impression from the client what you need to do what are the strategies you are going to follow right and the next thing is if you not meet the client expectations how you are going to handle a situation if you created a product you you are you are you are, you are giving me this product to the client but the, i am the client i am not satisfied how you are going to handle the situation and i am i am shouting on you okay, what is this is this is the product and this it is me that these are the uh, this is the very a uh, cheap product and so like that i am shouting on you so how you are going to handle the situation so always the interviewer are sir trying to you uh, what is called uh, test your brain and presence of mind how you are going to react on the situation that is why you should experience on that you should already uh, you have so many situations are there you just uh, come i mean you just incorporate the situation to your uh, the current question that is very helpful as well as a difficult client some clients are there so the clients may be a different persons are there so the persons may be person to person the the the, the, more, the emotions are some persons may be react very fastly and some persons may be very cool but you will get a, some different kind of person is a difficult client how you are going to handle the client client what are the strategies you are going to use for him so it is not for a, a, a company specific this is for all the companies you can take any company this is a a simple way to prepare right and you have a large number of customers so you have only two days time so how to uh, 100 100 100 clients are there you need to spend with them but how you are going to handle how you are going to give the priority and what is the, what are the parameters you are going to consider if you ask the question suddenly so what is the answer with you okay na what do you say with that if you say uh, the wrong words it treated as a the negative impression that is why my suggestion is you just go through the points if the points are good you just note on the paper and try to remember and try to practice in front of the mirror and keep it mind always your face should be very pleasant and a little smile a warm smile right don't try to irritate even the interviewers may get trying you to get the irritation but your target is the 20 minutes the next 20 minutes is not yours okay na so you are going to give that much of patience and that the warm thing for the interviewer purpose right next ability to adapt means so there is a various situations in the company are you are going to adopt the new things suppose the first thing is you have a lot of pressures can you can you manage the pressures how to manage you need to tell the situation don't tell yes sir i can manage that is not a good answer the good answer is yes sir i can manage so even in the my exams point of view so suppose i'm going to attend the tcs nqt interview sir the time of interview, uh, nqt exam i have on the same day my nqt exam is there as well as my external exam is there so i, I face a lot of pressure in the stand but i try to manage the time and try to manage the the time with my exam and as well as the nqt 
finally i succeed in the both sir yes sir definitely i can manage like that you have to say don't say yes sir i can manage that is a wrong answer how how that will give the more weightage yes sir no it is not a, a multiple choice question it is not multiple choice exam right you have to explain how you people are different from the others and how you are going to manage next thing team or company team or company was undergone in some change suppose you are working with the one team two two three years after that you have a bond with that particular team but uh, based on your expertise the the company is needs needs to change your position from one team to another team how what is your reaction on how you are going to work then you have to answer the good manner yes sir always i work for the company needs even i i just change from the my team but the team is with here only i may met i may i, I may meet in the leisure time with my friends but only my foremost and primary thing is i need to work for the company growth so wherever my need is required so i'll go and work there that is my first intention sir you have to answer like that to answer the question like this then they'll get some impression right so always you, you should say the positive manner and the pleasant manner and don't get irritation right and if you are failed how you are going to come out from that failure you have 20 years right from 20 years you may have some failures take that failure as an example and you have to convey the same failure should be honest please always you should be honest honest will give a better and the bright future honesty is a very very important thing right next time management skills right so in the time management skills how you are going to manage your time right so so two or three works are there so how you are going to manage the time and you have to various clients are there how you are going to manage the time right goals yourself right so give me example of time management every every question every behavioral question you should have a one uh, real time example and try to wait until the question is complete after completion of the question you are going to start your answer don't be hurry i'll let you know all the things right and next thing is a communication skills this is a very very important try to polite don't be arrogant and don't be more submissive or super submissive super submissive means so high or low both are is a problematic sir 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 this is the wrong way yes sir this is the wrong way like so you should be like as a honest person right don't be this is also wrong and so like uh, this one is also wrong the attitude plays a vital role because these are the interviews they are going to give a job to you you should be this is not more submissive this is submissive that's all like that you have to face the interview right and motivational and values so who are the best motivator cross the question and what are the values you have what are the values you need to consider in your life so what so which are the more important on your life so then i have to them ask the questions you have to be prepare all the things right next the first part is over a behavioral part in behavioral part the hr is always observing you observing you on your face expressions and how you are going to speak and what are the uh, you, how how you are going to sit and how you are going to dress and everything so top to bottom they are going to observe you know just the time when you are going to open the door from the interview or door to you come and sit in this uh, the chair right so it takes hardly 10 seconds 
the 10 seconds are enough to decide you are a fit or unfit for the job. This is the interview, this is a HR capacity. That is why be careful with that. Always everything you have to manage in the interview. Right? And technical question preparations. So don't, uh, what is called, uh, don't neglect that behavioral part. This is a HR round. So 20 to 30% people are failing in the uh, fail the interviews because of the HR round. You people are very good at the technical, very sound at the technical, but you people are not more concentrated on the technical part, sorry, behavioral part, right? In the technical point, first, brush up your technical concepts. The concepts, what, what you already know, right? Next, practice the programs on the paper, not in your computers, because you need to write on the papers, right? So the interviewer gives the paper and ask you to write on the paper. They don't give that system or laptop to execute your program. That is why my suggestion is you just practice on your paper. That will be very helpful, right? And after that, you just check your code in a computer. Is it working or not? The same code. The code which you wrote in a paper, you type as it is and try to find out the mistakes what you have done in the paper. Try to avoid the mistakes. The only thing is, suppose you are going to participate in the race on the mountains, but you are going to practice the race in the streets. Is that right way? Definitely no, because if you are going to participate in the race in the mountains, you should be practice on the mountains only. Like that, you are going to write in a program on the papers in the interview, then it is not right to, and this is not correct way to practice our programs on the computers. That is why, so try to, try to practice, try to practice uh, the programs on the paper. That is the best thing, right? As well as, so try to attend the mock interviews. Try to attend the mock interviews. Here, the mock interviews means how you are going to attend, sir, means some companies are already offering the mock interviews as well as if not, if you are not affordable, then my suggestion is you just sit in front of the mirror and try to interview yourself or you just are uh, your sister or brothers or some others are there, right? You just prepare a, a list of questions, interview questions and ask them to just interview, interview me, right? If and you just record the entire interview process, uh, the process, and just watch the video. You may have understood where you will, how we are going to react. Definitely, all will get helpful to get the in, a job, right? And don't get panic if the first question is wrong or you are unable to answer the question. So most of the interviewers are going to concentrate on way of approach, not that the question is the answer is right or wrong. Even they are going to insist you, yes, you are, you are doing very wrong, then still don't get panic. They're going to test your uh, mental ability. Your mental ability, how much mental ability you have, they're going to test. That is why, so don't get panic at any point, right? And these are the top 10 tips to answer the questions. See, the first one is, first before going to the Company, first you need to research on the company. So what is the last quarter and this quarter profits and how many employees are going to work and what are the various branches are available? What is the capital and what is the current value of the company and shares and everything you need to know. Because they may ask them about the, what about, uh, why you are going to join in the, our company means you have to make two to three points, some good points, two or three points, how to prepare. Okay, now. so those will, those points will give them more weightage and they'll get some content. Yes, this is the person is good for us, right? And practice man make perfect. Whatever I said, the technical questions or programs as well as the, the remaining thing, uh, behavioral questions, we have to practice in front of the mirror. Okay, next thing. So then the, the day of interview, try, to stay calm. 
so don't get irritated and don't get tense if you get more tense you didn't get the job if if you definitely if you get a more tense you will get the job then you will that is the right way if you get a more tense you will you may lose the job the reason there is a reason so don't get tense and don't speak with others and don't ask others what you prepared and what you learned right so all the things all the things will make you a very very uh, means you may forgot the things what you learned right right so that is the reason don't ask anyone stay calm try to stay calm right if you get a tense you just count 1 to 10 even prime minister also the time of the election results they'll get a tense but you have to manage the tense if you if you get more tense you are, so every every some part of the tense you may lose your iq levels you get more tense you lost all your presence of mind that may cause the loss of the job also okay na so next take your time suppose if you ask the question so don't try to hurry that question right take some 5 to 10 seconds or just ask sir can i explain the question on the paper as that like that then what happened is that the paper uh, the writing on the paper and you will get some time 10 to 15 seconds time the time is enough to manage your tense right don't shiver don't shiver right so be confident okay next use the right words use the right words means suppose you are going to explain about the stack so stack is a uh, first in first uh, first uh, last in first out manner right so you are going to uh, you are going to insert a data into the stack and delete a data into the uh, from the stack this is a wrong way right so insertion deletions are not in the stack there are the operations are there push and pop the the right words for the right words will give the right impression the concept is very very important the concept the words technical words you just in, involve the technical words right so don't feel shy try to share your accomplishments like yes sir i had uh, three stars in the coach chef four stars in the coach chef or uh, I, i have done more programs in the hacker rank and i, I ended certificates on the course era okay na? and always so suppose they asked about stack but you are going to explain now q so try to match your concept with the asked question you ask the question on the stacks but you are going to explain in the q is a wrong way right right that is why you try to you try to match your concept with that question so if you have a doubt right so don't feel shy or don't feel don't uh, fear on that question suppose they ask the question so uh, can you explain the uh, deletion uh, uh, sorry deletions in the stack so ask the question but deletions in the stack but you didn't listen that word you just get a clarity sir uh, you are asking about the uh, pop up i mean deletions in the stack sir just get the clarity after that you are going to answer the question but without clarity if you answer the question they treated as you don't know the concept that is why you try to get the clarity after the clarification only you go for the answering right and next one is keep it professional your dressing our your talk, your, your words and everything you should be the very careful right so from the sitting from where you sit in this sat in a chair from there to until leave the room you should be very professional right and this is the mistakes you are going to done in the interview point of view see i have mentioned so most of the people are trying to execute your programs on the system that is the wrong way so try to execute the programs and the paper not in your system right and 
some buttons may ignore the hr round ignore the behavioral questions this is also wrong right and skipping the mock interviews so much, most of them is not attending the i not practicing the mock interviews if you are not how you are going to handle the situation why you are going to attempt the so, so when when the time of mock interview when the time of end sets why you people are going to attempt that many mock tests the reason is to manage the stress and they manage the time right so like that you have to attempt the mock interviews if it is not provision at least you just arrange some setup with your parents or your sister or brother or your friends and try to attend the sessions session at least two to three mock tests are required right so don't remember the solutions you should remember the procedure right procedure is important not the solutions right so don't buy hard the answer i mean programs or uh, anything the concepts sorry solutions right so 2 plus 2 i don't know the how to perform the addition but you remember the only answer 4 4 is the answer if they change the 3 plus 3 how you say that the answer what is the answer how you don't know that addition procedure but how you are going to answer the question is a wrong right so don't remember the solutions okay na don't more talk to you or less talk to you if you ask the question you have to stop the concepts wherever it's required don't tell unnecessary words don't use unnecessary words that will cause that they will cause more questions on that remaining words so the words which you are going to talk i mean speak in the interviews that every word should be very clear if you don't know the particular word you simply ignore that word right rush don't rush don't be rush means suppose what is a stack he is going to ask the question what is a stack but still he is not going to complete the question you are going to start the answer. yes the stack is a uh, linear data structure it is going to perform your operations in the uh, last in first out manner this is a wrong, wrong way right you have to wait until after, you have to wait the question until he finishes after finishing the question how to spend at least 2 to 3 seconds and after you trying to start your answer right don't be rush don't be rush the rush may be cause the mistakes right and suppose they ask you write a program you just go don't give the after completion of, uh, don't hand over your paper to the interviewer uh, after finishing your program try to debug the code is there any mistakes or there or not if you, if they, they they insist you to please give the paper then you just ask Sir, I am going to debug the code. It's okay, no problem. Then you just start, uh, hand over your paper to that particular interviewer. If not, you try to you try to debug the code because the interviewer treated as you are careless when he finds a mistake and try to write the algorithms or pseudo codes before going to start the code. But you have to tell how to tell to the uh, the interviewer. Sir, uh, first, can I write the pseudo code? After that, I go for the uh, program. If not, if you are not going to inform to him what he treated, you are, you don't know about that the coding. There is a reason, right? And so, careless coding. Be careful with the using the brackets and semicolons. Okay, na? So everything is you should write in a very a uh, clear manner. Don't be hurry, hurry, right? So don't be surrender and don't give up. at any point of the moment so just uh, the time when you are going to surrender just recall your parents recall your parents hard work parents sacrifice what they are going to sacrifice you so all you just keep it in your mind try to fight with that interview definitely you can you can achieve definitely you can achieve right you people are all in the same stage right all you are all in the same stage who will perform better and who will do hard work definitely they will win 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 in the interview 
right so i'm going to share you one beautiful story beautiful motivational story so in one village one famous temple is there in the temple you know very well the god is idol the god is there idol and so the everyone the more devotees are coming to the temple here you know that the the god how they are treated so every morning they are going to uh, bath with the milk right bath with the milk and uh, so they they decorate with the flowers and everything right right so the end of the day they uh, the close the doors of the temple the idol only the the temple is empty no one is there in the temple now the the floor right the floor is there the floor is i mean the floor is stone right floor is stone floor stone and idol stone so you know that stones are came from the rocks right so what happened here the the floor is talking about the uh, idol the uh, the the uh, idol god right so what is saying that the with the god the stone is i mean the floor is saying to the god he hey god are you enjoying life right the god replied ma why you are saying like that floor floor is replied so i just i observed from the morning onwards from the today morning i just uh, the the sweeper came and cleaned me by using surf by using surf and phenyl but the same person other person came to you and just bath with uh, a milk bath with milk and the others are coming on the me i mean walking on the me but they are coming to you and they are going to try to wish you with your two hands so the replied with floor the god replied yes exactly whatever you said this is exactly right exactly right but remember one thing few years back few years back you and me in the same rock you and me in the same rock so the one person came to us and hit it on you hit it on you with the hammer hit it on you with the hammer so after the two or three times you broken got broken then floor replied i got so much pain that is why i cannot tol tolerate that pain that is why so myself uh, uh, got surrendered him you know the same person came to me and he told me two to three times the pain the pain which you faced or which you were experienced which you were felt the same pain i felt but i try to tolerate just i what happened in the future i just try, try to tolerate the pain that time so he hated me 10 times i even be frank i cannot tolerate the pain but so still i waited what happened in the future so you know i just shape my eye my shape my eye he hated me millions of time in my eye that is why i i i i i, I faced i i experienced that pain that the hard work that is why i am here you are not faced i mean you are not you are not uh, what what is called uh, you are not uh, experience oh, i didn't understand the word so that is why you are there so like that you people are all in the same stage so if you observe here only 6 to 7 members are attending my classes right so what about the remaining so many are there but you people they have a some movie plan so you may you may have a movie plan they are going to enjoy with friends you you may have a same plans right but still you are going to sacrifice all the things or try to learn something from my videos definitely definitely so you people are doing some hard work the after few years after few years definitely you have a some better future than the remaining who are going to wasting their time 
whatever the time spent with that learning so it never goes fail or never goes lost the every point what you learn from my videos or any one so that will helpful in the future right so that is why you all are in the same stage right you all are in the same stage who will perform who will tolerate the hard work who will going to perform correct planning definitely they have a good future in the few uh, coming days good career right so my suggestion is in the technical point of view you need to concentrate you need to concentrate on two things right so require an optional have a two i agree uh, divided the interview subjects in the two ways required and optional so you people need to select one programming language right and data structure and databases in one programming language that may be anything you can take a python java any language any language is not a problem but that should be very clear don't use four or five languages in your resume the one language that's the best language if you ask somebody suppose suppose you incorporated python in your resume suppose in that interview point the interviewer ask you don't know java yes sir i know java i can manage the java but i am very good at the python sir what if an interviewer ask yeah, but uh, in our company we have only java projects we don't have a python project then how you going to answer the question sir java is a just language i can implement that uh, java in within the, I, i can improve my java within the short period so only the java is a syntax right so i am very 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 much very good at the logical building so i am showing that logical building in the python language if your company is good at the py java then there is no much uh, problem to me i can manage within one or two weeks to learn all the things sir there is not a big task to me so like that you need to reply but don't try to put the more languages because if you have you the chance to more they they can go for the various languages if you are if you if you use the java they will ask the threads and exception handling so any they have provision is lot right so reduce that one and the remaining two are very very important data structures and databases data structures and databases right so who are the csc and it people so you should more con also concentrate on these two subjects csc it people because so by default you should learn these things and you should concentrate on these subjects also they are going to concentrate right and these are the points you need to remember we came to end so here remember one thing so do i have get every question right not required the only the interviewer can see can see is the approach is right or wrong are going to approach right way or wrong way that's all is not at all possible to answer a right question for every question right answer for the every question right and how should i address this should be very professional okay na don't use a plain shirt that is the best thing and girls also use a proper dressing style right and so you should use a language that is very very good at the i mean the language means programming language so that should be very very a uh, good knowledge in the language in the all all aspects right i did not hear back immediately after my interview am i rejected not that they are going to test your mood if you are not wishing properly then you did it i didn't get the job like you, you will get the panic right so don't do like that until you the interview you just maintain a same style of your face don't get irritated and the pleasant smile okay pleasant smile and smooth handling of the interview even it didn't they didn't say that even if you said that you you, didn't, you you rejected the interview still accept okay sir thank you sir okay thank you sir so can you please uh, let me know sir where i did a mistakes so in future i am trying to rectify my mistakes like that you just ask one question in the polite manner still you didn't get irritated and you didn't need the because the opportunities are so many in the outside even they are going to test uh, your mindset or mental ability 
and how you are going to react that is the reason so even they said that you, you rejected still still you should you should ask the same question sir please let me know sir where i did the mistakes in the future i am going to uh, try to uh, rectify mistakes if you the, if you ask the question even your, your your result may be in the positive manner you will get a positive result the interviewers are trying to test your ability not that your skills right and questions from your side some some interviewers may ask what are the questions from your side then then you just you have a three kinds of question genuine questions genuine questions if you observe anything from positive from him just ask sir what are the uh, how will achieve these things sir so can you please guide me next insightful questions are any studies future studies are right next insightful questions right any technology sir you are going to use this technology because i said that previously you have to go to the company profile so you are going to use this technology how you are going to handle this kind of projects are you are going to handle this kind of products if you say like that definitely that will be the positive vibrations and passion questions passionate suppose you are going to learn or if you are going to higher studies sir so after 3 to 4 years can the company is allowing me to do the uh, higher studies sir is there any support from the college, uh, uh, company sir so this will give the more more advantage right finally a uh, very thank you to attending this session ma if you have any doubts or anything please comment on my video definitely i will help you help you okay na thank you ma thank you very much hi friends please subscribe my channel for technical training and placement related videos and if you want more updates on my videos please click on bell icon thank you for subscribing